any scene. It's now time for Team Vitality versus G2 Esports. Two teams with very different week one performances. G2 only through their match against Mad Lions. So they're 2-1 in the standings, and it was definitely a much cleaner version of G2 than we saw on the international stage. Yeah, you know, look, let, let's be honest, G2, they're going to drop a BA1 here or there, but still they're always fighting at the top of the standings. I think week one, no alarm bells or anything like that ring in my head. They still showed a lot of great teamwork, I think, uh, in their gameplay as well, which we've come to expect from them as well. And for what it's worth, in the loss, at least they were happy gaming, you know? They were so having a happy. good time, limit oh, testing. Yeah. Just, Big smiles. Just the, you know, a happy caps is a good caps. Yeah, this is the thing. Pink Ward caps. Not a great caps. But to, to be Minion fair, caps. was it also a 4v5? I think a Pink Ward caps is not a bad thing. It's just the situation yeah. of the Pink Ward caps. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what about turning into a Pink Ward encourages you to engage. It's like a 4v5. It doesn't even, I don't even know anymore, you know? Yeah, I was going to say, we've Just discussed Bengi. the... Bengi has a lot of experience <laughs> oh. knowing how to... No, anyway, that's oh, a sorry. throwback. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the G2, cut. they've got the team cohesion. I clearly need to work on mine with you guys. Um, everyone knows what each other role is in G2 and it's clearly working for them. However, on the other side of things, Vitality, this team of such strong laners is looking dysfunctional and lacking direction right now. I, it just feels like Bo is on a completely different planet. Like, this is from their opening game where he just leashed Dragon for the enemy team, then goes up uh, less than 60 seconds later, was just leashing Herald for the team too. When, when Mad Lions are so focused on getting mid-priority, moving down, they were just bullying, because Bo starting this up, no top prio, right? Mid lane's ready to, to get on the move there as well. He was really just trying to, to cheat a lot of these timings, and this is something that I think cost them a lot earlier as well. Like you, we know Bo has a mechanical prowess to look very strong individually, but the decision making has not aligned fully with his teammates through the year. And I think both of these plays would have been great if it was solo queue. And that's kind of the problem. A lot of Vitality's games really look like solo queue games where the team play is just not there. And this is a weird thing because when Upside came to the team, we were just like, brilliant, okay, that's a really uh, driven shot caller who's going to give some direction and some momentum to the team. And at first, there was a honeymoon period in that spring split. And then as we went into those best of threes and best, of, uh, you know, as we went to those multi-series, it just, it started to fall apart. I think what you're going to see is over a larger sample size, Vitality not stacking up fully, right? Because they make low percentage plays, right? Like Bo moving towards these, these uh, objectives without priority, going for invades, all these sorts of things. So yeah, on the odd game where you don't get punished, you're going to look like a genius. Oh, you snuck that Herald away right under their noses. Good for you. But over time, especially as teams get better and get more aware of this, it's going to cost them. He spends so much time around the team, though, but he's not actually setting up kills. And I, I just don't know why that is. I'm asking the jungler in the situation. Any ideas why, why well, a jungler might not be able I, to I actually have that I think usually if you are influence. unsure if a team is on the same page or not. You look at the jungler, and if you look at a team like G2, Yaik is always at the right place at the right time, and you can kind of assume that, sure, he's doing great, but the communication is also there, whereas Vitality generally have no clue what they're doing, and Bo is just completely misplaced for, for various reasons, and hopefully it's something they can solve, but it's not looking good right now. And you actually have an example of some of the issues that are, are going on with their reset timers and their map movement, so head to the telly. Yes. No pressure. So, I have uh, two very interesting clips for us to have a look at. And Vitality, they haven't been the greatest recently. Now, let's shed some light on some of the problems. If you're a player looking to improve, you may want to have your notebook ready because Vitality is about to show us the way, I'm sure. So, first of all, one of the problems on Vitality is the fact that they're not the greatest at coordinating recalls. As we see here, first Kai'Sa and Ops at base. 50 seconds later, Perks is spacing. Perks comes back, ready to pressure, ready to take control with the spot lane. Bo, Kai'Sa, Perks moving into enemy jungle, setting up vision. Oh, now Bo is spacing. That's unfortunate. Kai'Sa about to take a second recall as well. And guess what? Photon is going to join, basing on awards. Now, we can pause here because this guy basing on a ward is a little bit of a problem. Vitality came back from base, they took control of the enemy jungle, but because the bases were desynced, Heretics now can walk in, regain control of the jungle, get some Baron Vision, get control of the river. But another thing that's important to look at is when checking out the team comps, we can see there's a LeBlanc right here, there's a Gwen right here on, Le uh, on Vitality's side, 
these two champions enjoy split pushing, they want to play one for one Well, let me ask you one thing, does this look like split pushing to you? Perks is left top, he's moving to the mid lane, making plays with his team, at least I would hope so. In the meantime, we see Evi pushing in top lane, Perks is just sitting mid, uh, Shang farm with his AD carry, and all of a sudden we're in a scenario where this top wave right here has not been pushed in by the LeBlanc, who has static shift, who can straight up one shot the wave, and that is very far from ideal. So, with that, Vitality forget to use their team comp. But it doesn't matter. Perks has been here for 1 minute and 15 seconds achieving nothing. But you know what? He's a smart boy. He mind controls heretics to go for an all-in. Taking a fight, Evi gets caught. And with that, Photon comes from the bot lane, setting up a beautiful fight for Vitality. Now, Perks decided not to split push for a very long time, but with the power of mind control, it worked out for them in the end. And one thing worth noting is that while this clip happens 10 minutes later, Vitality did not only get the winning fight, they killed four people, they got a free Baron, and now we're looking at another scenario where the 6k gold ahead with another Baron. So they come out of base with their 1-3-1 comp, what are they gonna do? Well, Photon moves to bot lane, perks again, sitting mid, we see the four man moving down towards bot here, and one thing that is very important now is sinking the waves. Mid and bot have to land on the turret at the same time. But Vitality spot side, they forget to slow push. They hit the melees, kill the three melees right away. Pushing in the wave, perks. Doesn't have a mid wave yet, unsure what to do, decides to move down bot. And with that, somehow we end up in a situation where we have five people sitting bot lane with our one through one team comp. Just pushing the turret as five. 7k gold ahead in this very moment. Maokai looks for the ult, goes for the all-in. And all of a sudden, Vitality, by re absolutely refusing to play the macro game and refusing to play 1-3-1 one one at any point in the game, managed to throw the game away. I'll be honest with you, I have seen silver games in North America with better macro than this. I'm out, I can't watch this anymore. Oh, oh my arms. Oh. Whoa, damn. That's doubly harsh because not only did he just compare it to Silver Games in North America, which I've been there. Let me tell you, it's not great. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, that's season three. It was a long time ago. Don't but, sell yourself short. You're a diamond. Uh, that's player. Broxa. Yeah. Broxa no, never says anything not nice about anyone. But he's just unleashed, didn't he? It, he? I mean, the points were valid. The thing is, he's like the Hulk. He is always angry, but yeah. he holds back. Yeah. And he did not hold back no there. No filter for that. So. so for the sake of vitality, I, I hope, hope they, they play good. Because if, that's, if that's two bad plays, what about three? What about four? What's he going to do? It's fucking down. won't start in the draft, but we'll see how much macro is needed, depending on the composition. Traven taken away from Han Sama already. And again, you'll be taken off from G2. Yeah, this no matter well. where you've been, no matter what path you've walked in life, we can all come together on one thing. Question, does G2 ban LeBlanc against Perks? I mean, we just saw Broxa break down Vitality's loss, but it seems to be like his go-to static shift champ right I, now. I'm not going to bet, because I don't think I'm allowed to bet on esports matches, probably a conflict of interest, but if I were a betting man, I would say Perks lets it through and then has a counter pick because this is like a long time. caps caps yeah yeah uh i think ego matchup i 100 percent call oh, ego yeah, matchup right now caps caps is cooking he's is he, been cooking since the start of the season is it a, is it a filios is it the blanc is it is it is it cassante is it is what are we going first big pop poppy i think he's taunting broken blade on the pop oh no he's not he's just first big poppy Bro, what, 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 one what, week what, of scrims what <laughs> i mean to be fair we saw poppy in the previous game poppy looked pretty strong yeah you I mean, tried poppy BB's Poppy in their game against, was it Mad, I believe it was, with the yeah. Nocturne comp? Wasn't that useful? Ooh, but I like it because you get Poppy if you believe Poppy's OP. And then you say, hey, if you play LeBlanc, it's going to be a lot True. harder for you to play LeBlanc because yeah. we have a Poppy. Yeah, Gen G today, they played Poppy Tristana mid. Poppy jungle Tristana mid into LeBlanc, Showmaker's LeBlanc. True. He couldn't lane. He really couldn't. He was being dove. He was huh. being pushed in. There was nothing he could do to trade back. So. I wonder if we can get some kind of poppy Tristana tech. And that's what Vitality are saying. We don't got a first pick LeBlanc, you pick it. We're going to play the Tristana poppy into it and see if they've taken a page out of Gen G's book. Now, I can't remember if it was spring or winter where Perks tried Trundle. to bust out Whoa. Tristana. <laughs> All right. What's going on? We have Trundle now? 
So is this, I mean, they could put Poppy top and play like Kindred Jungle here. So I'm a bit scared, but maybe it's a Trundle Flex. If maybe tank. it's, hey, I think it's, here's my thing. I think it's Broken Blade, Yike, Trundle Flex into the Poppy top or jungle because they're red side. I'm 100% sure because if they pick Kindred here, Vitality, I think that Trundle Jungle is going to have a nice man. Follow the Trundle Troll logic. If tank good, Trundle good. <laughs> Very simple. Dude, you don't you, even you need <laughs> correct grammar. You just... <laughs> uh, Xyracon. BC tank, me press R. <laughs> me tankier tank, than you BC, now. Yeah, yes, yes, thank you. I bigger tank. Uh, I bigger tank. So, I mean, G2 can pick... They can pick... Uh, the worst, worst part is Trundle is actually, like, decently well-spoken. <laughs> doesn't make sense. No, but he's... It's part, of, right. the, it's part of the character, isn't it? Sure. He does probably have a line that does sound like. Uh, have you seen the, what is it? The one where he's like a troll drudge, troll yeah, jury, and execute troll. Troll. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Well, there's a Lulu. Uh, yeah. So Lulu Felios, I like it. Uh, I'm concerned. I again, if we take the nameplates off and we ignore the coordination issues that Vitality have had in their last few games, enemy team having Rakan Poppy, based on what we saw in the previous Fnatic game, very bad for the Felios. It's gonna hurt, isn't it? And I think Vitality wanted them to pick LeBlanc there. I'm, I'm convinced they were going to go for some Chosana, but yeah, they're going to ban it away here, G2. Let's see what they can pick here now. I think I think Syndra mid could be pretty good for them against... Okay, well, Syndra's <laughs> taken away. What else do you like? Tell me so they can ban I mean, Annie, I think, would be pretty good for Vitality. If and you're having Rakan, Annie, Poppy, I think... Show me Annie. Annie, Azir, have you so know, I think Annie, Azir are just where the... The good stuff's at right now. Um, I don't think G2 want to play Ari. I think actually maybe G2 want to play any themselves. We'll see. You've gone through a lot here. Yeah. Been, you're waffling a bit. No, I know. It's just, I actually you know, don't know. I feel you know, like you just think out loud and you just yeah. start talking and you start going. Yeah. And it is Annie. Yeah. You should have trusted yourself from the start. I don't think Vitality would ban Ari. Azir ban. I think Azir ban. Yeah, I think you're yeah. right. I think it's going to be Azir. And then <laughs> now G2 are in this kind of hole where it's like, we don't really want Ari, but Ari's open. So that's kind of... Well, oh, Asante. I forgot about Cassante. That is an important champion to take. Off the map. Yeah. Uh, shout out to the Astralis fans in the house from Hamburg, I believe. Shout out to you guys coming in clutch. You'll get to see your boys play in the next game. Are they Scion? Trundle Jungle, Scion Jungle flexing? No, you've talked. You every no, opportunity. I'm serious. I'm serious. Scion You're Jungle like is Shane a thing. and Ultra Lord and Jimmy Neutron. Uh, you, you don't believe reference. me. You don't believe me. But Scion like, Jungle. They will flex this Scion. Yeah, into the Scion Jungle. jungle it it a... will happen. See, we were right. Azir. Azir. We knew go. it. We were on it. So the Trundle Flex is alive. This is the most, other than the Trundle, stock standard composition we've seen G2 play this entire yeah, season. But look at the range they have. Aphelios is here. Uh, Lulu into Zaya. So once again, we have a Rakan plus Engage Champs composition versus a Scaling composition. Let's see if uh, G2 can do better than Rogue. Yeah, let's see if they can. Sorry, so, Koi, excuse me. Oriana for perks. Ooh. Didn't let him cook. Let him cook. I hate Zach not to I, I, hate, I hate to break it to he's you guys. guys. It's a great sign, but he's not cooking. My man bought the TV tray dinner. He's putting something into a microwave and he's walking away. There is no cooking involved. Ooh, now they're now they're Poppy Gragas jungle double flexing. This is funny because if they last pick Scion here, G2 want to match Trundle into this Poppy no matter what. But they've got double flex, so you know it's, you get in. This is a funny situation because 20 seconds into the draft, you have to have your champions locked. So I think there'll be these scenarios happen before where it's like you want to get into it. So I think the swaps might happen. You okay. know, we don't have a timer. You do have that bar. So I don't know exactly at what stage in that bar they're not allowed to swap anymore. But 20 seconds, you're right, Kadrill, is the official rule. After 20 seconds, you're not allowed to swap anymore. So it's Trundle Jungle now, but I think they would want to. This is, this is absolutely Wait. the Western standoff right now. So they're going. So this is perfect for Where's G2. Where's it going? Does Vitality swap it? Because this is exactly what G2 want. They want to play Trundle into Poppy. They want to play Silent into Gragas. Now, do they, do they just do the switcheroo at 20? No, it's <laughs> eyes. You're staring be. each other down. <laughs> High noon. <laughs> Anyway, are they gonna swap? G2 have a really good team fight. Ten comp. seconds left. I've been told by production. G2 have a really good team fight comp. Will they have decent engage? They swap. Five seconds. They're just gonna tank the poppy and trundle. Looks like it. Yeah, it looks like they're just gonna tank. Okay, it. they're done. They can't yeah. swap. There will be no swippies. Um, I mean, both team comps have a really good team fight. Uh, you can see Zyra Khan Oriana is kind of like a League of Legends timeless classic of team fight. And uh, the enemy team has Sion Azir, so I think yeah. you're looking at a lot of skirmishes here. Look, we got the Cat and Flowers iconic call composition. We've got the Faker Shockwave, we'll find them all. We've got the Feathers Fly. We've got we've got everything we need we've to plagiarize Cat and Flowers. 200 years. 200 years. There we are. Vitality versus G2. Both teams equipped with a ton of team fighting power. Vitality, can they find their footing? Can they find what they need to coordinate and execute in this game? Or will G2 take them down? That is the question on our minds. As we get into game, Vitality versus G2.
fans are out in force. And they're sitting at 2-1 and one right now. Of course, they threw that game against the Mad Lions. Had a little bit of fun in the game. Yeah, comeback by Mad though, but still looking very dominant here in the LEC. Vitality looking really shaky. Yeah. And it's interesting when we consider, of course, uh, you know, championship points aren't a big talking point for either of these teams because G2 are already locked for our season finals, uh, although they still do want to fight for seeding. But Vitality have a decent amount of points, some pretty solid finishes both across both previous splits, but solid not going to be enough to get you to Worlds or get you far in the season finals. So do want to see Vitality ramp up. Do want to see more from them in this week. Uh, and got to say, one particular player standing out, not to uh, pile on too much here, but Bo, a guy we want to see more from. Uh, Team Proximate 14, he's third, 43.7% of your time. That's a lot of time. Yet despite that, his K plus A at 14, the amount of times he's involved and killed for 14 minutes, very low. Yeah, very low. We'll see if he involves his laners a bit more when it comes to starting up those neutral objectives. Make sure he's around them on the starts. Not playing a carry now, he's obviously gone towards the, the poppy. We've seen Wukong, we've seen Kindred, we've seen Sejuani, so he's playing different champs every game. As he cycles through these bot camps, what I'd love to see him do is maybe some kind of bot side invade. You know, try to take away Yikes' blue buff, threaten some kind of bot dive. Yep. Get the, the ball rolling on the poppy, because when poppy is level 3, she is so strong. It's kind of like a jar for level 2, you know, you really want to make sure you can use that strength somewhere, getting a flash forcing some kind of dive, and looking at his pathing, I think he might go for it. Yeah, he could get aggressive on the bottom side of the map. Level 2 right around the corner for both bottom lanes. That ward's gonna spot him, though. Whoever put that down in River as they went to lane from the bot lane of G2 is gonna spot him out if he does go in that direction of a dive. Or some kind of gank. Looks like the wave's been thinned out, so no real chance of a straight-up dive, of course. So, Bo, does he know it's warded? Maybe... He's just going to run towards mid. Yeah, blue ping's onto the ward, it looks like. So it seems like since they spotted that one out, he's going to adjust his pathing, potentially to contest the blue, as you highlighted earlier. Now he has phase rush, so what he'll do is he'll E onto the trundle, auto-attack Q, and then run away, because... <laughs> you don't win the extended yeah, the trade. the PTA trundle is going to murder him. Here we go. Blast cone, perhaps? Hiding. Wait, this is the sneakiest poppy I've ever seen. Wait a second. <gasps> now he's in the bush. No, he's not. He's Lord. warding the bush. Now he's in the bush. No, he's not. So far, so good from Bo. He's, he's leaving. Maybe he... Does he know that he's on... Yeah, the awkward drop? thing right now is that uh, Yike is still just clearing camps. He's already one camp ahead. He's about yeah. to be two camps ahead. He spots him. So now Yike is on bot side. So G2 bot lane the probably think they're safe. The ward's gone. And can they pull it off? Level up should come through. All right. W for the movement what? speed. Whoa! What? Uh, what the... What? Did he try to flash there, Kaiser? I'm not quite sure what okay, he was aiming at. Root and continue the trade. And G2 won the trade! Well, yeah, I mean, yikes, look at the CS in jungle. Yikes, three camps up, level four. There's, that's it, Bo's got to leave. See you later, guys, have fun. And now they're on the worst end of the trade. This is really awkward for Vitality now, because Yike can just do crab and dive bot. Look at their health bars. They're going to keep getting chunked out. Perks doesn't have any mana either, so you don't really have too much threat on the caps. They, they can't lane. They, that's it, their jungler has to leave them. Vitality just have to, to base. Does he have enough mana to cancel the backs? Not enough for an EQ, it looks like. Perks still in lane, despite having no mana. He does have a cookie, though, so he'll be fine. All right, so a lot of time invested there by Bo. I mean, huh. the thing is, G2 can push out on base now, but they could also stand in between towers and start dishing out damage to upset as he runs back to the lane. That would be a horror scenario, but it looks like G2 is just going to blow out the wave in base, and this jungle advantage won't net into two... Mickey? Mickey? Kaiser, Flash, W, we like something psycho. No, he's got heal, of course, so he won't go for that. 59 HP. Calculated. Uh, sure, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. This Broken Blade and Photon just continue to... Get aggressive on Ow. the top side. Broken Blade up a level. Sitting pretty. Good old-fashioned Scion scaling. Already 95 bonus HP. Yeah. This is a very weird game of League of Legends, Mark. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the hell happened on the bottom well, top of the map. I'm still trying to figure that out. The worst part is, on the mini-map, you can see Yike took away Bo's Raptor respawn. So, that stings even more. He's not even close to level 4 yet. Oh, he is close to level 4 yet, sorry. But he's an entire level down on Yike, is what I was trying to allude to. So, Yike's going to full clear again. Yeah, top you can to see Bo down there by Kaiser in terms of the XP as Broken Blade and Caps are rapidly battling uh, for first place yeah. there. Don't think it's the end of the world though, really, is that he's playing Poppy, he's gonna build full tank. Um, unfortunately, he couldn't force any summoners out of uh, the enemy team, so the Poppy spike, quote unquote, is fading off. Yeah. And Yike will just solo out objectives a lot faster than him. You'll destroy him in the 1v1. So hopefully Bo can look for something on the level four. And Trundle's pretty strong in these early skirmishes, with PTA especially, a lot of those base stats, stealing away AD, so they have to be careful around these early objectives, unless they can really get some solid setup. Is Mickey, a living ward, just gonna act as a bit of vision. You know, when, it, when, you, when you're playing Poppy, you really wanna see, like, on the enemy team, like, Rakan, Vi, yes. you wanna yes. see Ari, you yes. wanna see all these dashing champions. 
Caps? You're gonna interrupt Caps' dash? Yeah, kind of, yeah, but if I see my Poppy full tank eating onto an Aphelios Lulu Azir while Trundle ulted, yeah. he ain't stopping no dashes. They're all just gonna stand there and hit him. What Poppy has to do in this game is spin the helicopter, yep. charge the Poppy Copter, mm -hmm. and knock out the tanks or yeah. both carry simultaneously so they can kill the tanks, which so is hard. You're telling me yes. he needs to Poppy ult the carries away. Or the tanks. Or the tanks. And then? She needs to hit like three people with a poppy alt and leave two other people completely exposed, yes. And then somehow get his carries in range to kill then, their carries. like flashy someone. And then flashy someone, yes. And then stop them from getting away. Yeah, and at some point, and then break if their you're keyboard. lucky, your W will be something other than a movement speed steroid. But it does seem unlikely. It does, doesn't it? So let's see if they can do something here. Level 5 on the poppy. Matching Yike. Ghost Mickey. already burned. Flash out from Mickey. Again, slow, steady, controlled. Vitality getting these small advantages, but G2 going to take the dragon. So unless they can capitalize on the flash from Mickey being down, pretty positive trade yep. for G2 overall. Bo is just going to have to stand and watch. See if he can take away this crab, though. Smite advantage in favor of the poppy. Five seconds on Yike. Smite. Perks on the way to help him out. So should be able to pick up this crab, which should even up the jungle disadvantage. Of course, he lost his raptors there, Bo, a little bit earlier on. He's going to even that up. Caps gets the mid push. Yeah, Perk sacks two creeps and, just to make uh, sure that that can come through, so really trying to help his jungle out there. Yeah, top lane is just, you know, it's just two dudes just hanging out. Just hanging out. You know, just bros being guys. Why do guys we have dudes. to hate each other? Why do we have to be rivals, Sion yeah. and Gragas say? And just uh, having a good time? Just taking it out on the creeps. Yep. Broken Blades, maybe gonna get a tower involved. That's how exciting it gets. And to be fair, you know, <laughs> Gragas, a lot of different brands of drunk. I, for one, not a fighter, you know? Not interested <laughs> in that. So... He just, oh, he just bottles you the second you walk in. <laughs> yeah, it just it seems unreasonable that he would always be an angry drunk. Well, if yeah. you are buying, he is in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hans, see if he's going to get caught here. You can see both guys are around. On the way. No flash on so Mickey. Many he might be the target. To Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Hans, homicide's dead. Mickey, no flash. They are going to retreat. Pillar now coming out. Boom! Oh, he did it. back. He did it. He That's a start. A little practice run That's there. right. <laughs> There's the puppy pick. Let that be a lesson to you. No one ever counterplays a bot gank against Bo. You'll never catch Captain Bo. So now it's going to be a Herald fight. No ult on the, the Poppy. Yike's going to do red and level up to six. This is where the Trundle will be pretty strong in this Herald fight. And um, the funny interaction we might see this game is if Broken Blade's like, I'm going in, guys, Cyan ults, and then Yike pillars at the same time, he's just going <laughs> to flop straight into it. So hopefully they don't block the engage, because something in short chokes like a river, it's actually yeah. plausible that something like that could happen, especially if you're Cyan ulting. The, the pillar lasts there for quite a while. So here comes a level six on the Trundle. Pings are on the Herald, there's already a ward on it, but there's no top push for G2 right now. We'll see if Yike tries to push away the Gragas or just decides to run there as both supports are around mid. No. Imagine we'll just see Broken Blade alt back to top lane as he has no TP. Credit to Photon, uh, building up an advantage in this lane, keeping the push up, forcing the TP out for Broken Blade, or matching TP with Broken Blade, so... Starting to build an advantage, starting to get that pressure. Oh, he didn't base yet though, so top oh. push is really bad oh. for G2. Just gonna get walked at by a big troll. Oh yeah, and he's gonna run away. The big troll scared him. Well. The problem is, it takes them both a year to kill the opposite number. So, really more about the people in the area. Mickey and Cap still there. arrived. Both supports are far from six, so there's no real XP advantage contest here on midway. It's just about push. Is Cap's gonna go for the scoop? The knockback not quite gonna hit the wall, pushing them back and away. The shockwave not quite gonna connect the oh, time. Just to the flash, and now Perks is in trouble. Flash up to safety, not enough. The shockwave's coming in clutch. Hansama gonna grab the kill. Upset will get some plates on bottom return, so let's see how many plates he can get. So if he can get around three or two plates, it'll kind of get a, make the gold a bit more even. He's going to get the CS lead as well, but Hans is going to get the Herald. What happens here? Does Broken Blade, you can see him basing, does he ult bot now and they just go for a full swap? I think that might be the fastest way that G2 can accumulate gold. And uh, Broken Blade is going to do exactly that. Hans interrupting the back of Botan though, that's big Here comes as well. the ult on bot, and they're going to start pushing in top now. So G2 going to start forcing the advantages. Two plates is all upset will get. Oh, connecting. Kaiser going to go for the knockup, but there's, there's just not a, a kill to be had there. You cannot die of a Scion. No, you can't. I think G2, actually, this is kind of awkward. I think they need to swap back. You know, Hansamo was just channeling the recall. He just stopped it. I think he realizes, hey, we can't Herald top right now. We're not going to be able to push in the waves. Support's based. Ideally, he would want to go back down there and match bot, because he's going to have a lot of gold right now, Hans, after picking up that first blood and Herald and getting top waves in. So ideally, he bases here and runs back bot and somehow gets Broken Blade to then run back up. This way, they didn't lose a wave, so correct overall. We'll see this again. Caps. Just far away from the wall, he doesn't get stunned. Bo gets a little bit of damage down, he pushes him back, flashes back. the shockwave. Oof, just barely in time, the flash from Caps. And then here comes a turn from Hans, getting that kill. Oh, oh no, not 
the B. Don't bring the B into this. The B didn't do anything wrong. Vitality B. Wait, that's sick. I was not excited about B Oriana, whatever it is. It's a whatever chroma the name though. is. But the sad B chroma makes me excited about this Oriana skin. <laughs> well, the sad B one makes you excited. I feed a lot. It feels appropriate. <laughs> I'm very bad at Oriana. Feeder. So they didn't swap back. So they are going to stay top. Looks like uh, Hans is getting. Wow. Vitality. Closer. Closer and closer. Did the swap for them. Respectable. Yeah, they did. Maybe they. Yeah, the Vitality did do the swap for them. That's quite nice of them. So. Dragon spawning now in 30 seconds. This is the awkward thing of not swapping, because now Hans kind of has to run from top to mid. Whoa, Scoop caps. back onto Perks. Yike on the way in. They're just building so many walls! Yep. Perks cannot get away from that one. Another kill going over to the side of G2. Two deaths for Perks. Whoa, they tried to catch Hans. They thought Hans was going to go towards mid there, and he was. They tried to catch him, but looks like he's playing very safe. Just going to try and catch the wave himself. Oracle Maze is going to base and TP back bot, interesting enough. So TP advantage for Photon. Honestly, if Vitality can use that to their advantage. But right now, they're down 1,000 gold. That plate would be lovely for upsets to pick up, but I'm not sure if he's going to be able to... Looks like he's going to find his way around. He's going to try. Oh, it stings, Ooh, doesn't it, trying to get that the plate? Root. Bit extra poke. There's the TP advantage. Forcing the alt out, Bo coming in over the wall, but they don't really have a lot of follow-up. Damage here, the lockup might just be enough. The knock up into the air for Hansama. Vitality finally firing back. Perks coming in as well. Everyone committed to the top side of the map, but they will find their man. Really good usage of the TP there. You can see Yike sprinting towards mid. I think he wants to drop the Herald because, of course, it was a, it was a TP from Perks, not a TP from Photon. They wanted to force that kill on the hands. They got his flash, they got that kill, yes, but they're probably going to lose a mid tower for this. See how much damage they can get down here, G2. Only three range creeps. Trundle, Perks though. is on the way, but it is Trundle, like I said. It's going to be two plates straight through. It's going to pillar there just to stop Perks, and that'll be first tower to G2. Perks can throw down a bit of damage. He's here to help. The Ooh, no, it's going to live for now. Breaking this is big. The rest of the team on the way. G2 just going to back away. Again, discipline important there. Could have pushed for it. Probably not worth the risk, however. Yeah. G2 shift their attention down to this dragon. This feels like a bit of an and one. Uh, Hansama coming out of base mean. Oh, yeah, upside going to the top Caps side. Caps is sitting on a lot of golds, you know. 130 creeps, 1k gold lead. They're going to force this dragon, but yeah. Upset's top. I think this is gone. You can see the pings on the top tower. They're saying, you know what? Just give this. They have no TPs. You can see on the bottom right how many people were helping the dragon, and they can see Caps mid right. So that's five people accumulated, uh, accounted for. So Upset might be able to get a plate as he fast pushed in that top. And because Hans has been moving around the map all the time, trying to join these fights, Upset's up 20 CS. 10 CS. Caps still trying to scoop. Here comes the side on the combo. Just barely getting a bit of edge damage there coming out. Now trying to interrupt, trying to stop the decimating smash. Oh, the nice is back. Oh, Knocked up. Hand delivered. Oh. Rub salt into the wound. Kaiser flashed as well. He fell, they got tower, they got first blood tower. All the meanwhile, that upset's pushing top. They get engaged on mid. Caps just scoops him. I think Perks' flash was around 10 seconds away from coming up. Kaiser tries to help him out. And now... Now Photon has to be careful because there are a lot of members coming down to the bottom side. Red, yeah. white, perfect guns to shred no this trundles. objective. Photon just needs to delete the wave as fast as humanly possible. It will go down, so he should be safe for now. Safe for now, indeed. 2-0-2 two, two now, Yike on this channel, 100% kill participation. The only play we've seen from Vitality so far has been, well, successful one, has been that top dive side, yeah. which has put hands behind a little bit in creeps, but the yeah, upset's just been catching waves, pushing waves, almost 10 CS per minute here. And you've got 1,000 gold split between the Gragas and the Zaya, but there's 3k gold in mid-jungle on the side of G2. If you look back at this play, you see the yep. idea here, the little alley-oop. Look at the bottom of the screen, you can see Perks' flashes as much as it's ticking, you know, it's about seven seconds away. So good scoop by Caps, really good ult by Broken Blade. This pillar just pushes Perks into the Scion, like a really nice lined up Scion queue because the only direction that Perks can run is that way. He can't run around the other side of the pillar. Really good pickup. Look at the gold they get from the tower as well. It's around 300 apiece for both the mid jungle. And you were worried a bit about the Scion plus pillar coordination, but it has been there thus far for G2. Very well executed play. Four kills to one, 2k gold lead now for G2 alongside the two Drakes. One tower to one. But overall, uh, these guys are just going to clear waves against each other. The other rest of the map is what's a bit more interesting. 48 seconds until second Herald. Yep. Hansama swapping off of red into green, potentially no to blue. Give us your color knowledge, Gabriel. You've been playing a lot. I've been playing a lot. It's going for the blue-red. I actually like the blue-red combo. I think red Q with blue is actually quite satisfying, especially if you have like two melee bruises on you. You know, yeah. it's like Rakan Poppy are jumping on him. He's doing a million. You're kind of building a rune ant. Yeah, but his red gun's going low, so... Oh, knock back into engaged. the wall, onto the trundle. They have to burn through this health bar before he get the ult off. Yike getting pulled back, still has the ult. Patience there is Caps. Level 11. Very oh, strong is here. Just vision for the 1v1, the push back. He does so much damage with the shoulders. The flash out for Perks. The flash follow oh, for Caps, caps but he's slowed. Following up with the shoulders. He's gonna get it. Oh, it feels 
personal. Cap's just stepping up this game, isn't he? He's just had Perks' as number the entirety of this. Ever since Perks lost his flash and died in mid on the attempted engage on the Caps with the Shockwave, he's just been punishing him over and over and over again. Broken Blade getting the better hand off Photon at the moment, getting that bot push in. Han Sama looking around this Herald, see if he can stop it. Red Gun's about to run out. Herald's gonna reset. All right. Over to blue-purple, ready for a big AoE team fight if necessary. A bit slower on the objective take potentially, but they got three members here. TP yep. now coming in, Vitality trying to up the pace of the game, responding. Double TP. Double TP, five members going to be committed to this play. Photon to the back oh, side, back, oh. Flawless, engage, now coming in the charm. Hansama, can they burn through him? They will. Perfect start to the fight. Upset goes up in the air, but he has to come down. No, he's caught between the wall and the pillar. Broken Blade not quite getting able to get into the fight. Yike, still standing strong for now. The flash forward, the decimating smash. On to Bo as G2 still managed to come out on top. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. That was criminal. He manages to use Broken Blade 500 LEC kills. A lot of people are getting milestones today. But watch that team fight again. Mickey split second ultimate on the Rakan W, stops the knockup of the hands so he can get his ult off. If he doesn't get that ult off, I think Vitality might wipe them. See, Perks looking oh, for Caps. Back. Caps with the pushback, not quite under tower. Yes, he is under tower, getting locked up, but it's he just stands there hitting them. Look at him go! What the hell? Caps! Oh! What? He had stopwatch. Maybe if he pressed it, he could have lived, but my god. He just stood there hitting them. Birds killing birds, man. I've seen it all now. This is... We've seen sad bees, we've seen birds killing yeah, birds. This is an animal-based game. Look at this again, though. Double TP. If Mickey doesn't get this ult off, look at this Rakan W. Oh my god, stops it before he gets knocked off, so Hans can swap guns and get the ult off onto four. If that doesn't happen, I think Vitality win the fight. And they can maybe even get, like, Yike Summoners, try to force the Herald down, but because they get chunked out so much, they have to kite back into a choke, and they just get chased down, so... Wow, and Mickey, ups, nice upsets caught on the pillar, too. I mean, everything going right for G2 in that exchange of Vitality. We're only 17 minutes into the game, but that that was a huge gamble. They lost so much yeah, on yeah, that play. Did. And the game is certainly not unwinnable, but it is only getting harder for the side of Vitality. It really is, isn't it? So I think the scaling is also in G2's favor, right? Yeah. Azira, Filios, Lulu. Mickey. He does not have the damage alone to get the job done, but here comes Perks. Kaiser now fishing for the fob. They've got a lot of damage trying to interrupt the wild oh, goat now coming back. in. The knockback. Doesn't matter. Vitality. Finding brief moments of coordination, but not quite enough to get the job done. Wave crashing in mid lane, but Caps is already here to respond. Yeah. See if they can contest this here, Vitality. Bo can't really steal this, unless he's going to hex flash into that pit and just trade his life for it. It's not really going to happen. There's the green white for Hans, so he's going to be super strong if they decide to take this fight with the ultimate ready. So he has hex flashed in. This is it. There's no escape, buddy. Go the knock up. The dragon getting lower and lower. He won't be able to steal it. Traded his life for the attempt. The shockwave was nice, but there's just no damage. That Oriana has a Leandris and a tier. Well, Start to be pushed back here, Vitality. 20 seconds on the respawn. Continuing to push forward, G2. They got Scion on the bottom side, crashing the wave, ready to dive. Photon, Vitality, are they willing to concede a tier two, or will they try and contest yeah. this? Herald being dropped oh. down. They might have to give here, Vitality. They don't have Gragasol for the wave, that wave either. Upsets basing. It's going to be the third tower over to G2. And what G2 will do now is, because in a minute's time, Baron's spawning, they'll transition all their pressure topside and look for that top tier one. So. Don't think they'll take their foot off the gas whatsoever. Kadro. But how are you getting obliterated? <laughs> this getting this is rough. Yeah, they are. They're, the early game was all right. Mm -hmm. uh, they recovered pretty well from what was a v very disappointing uh, level three bot side play. Yeah. But Bo wildly behind. Yeah. Um, you know they they were doing fine. They were doing great, but they were doing fine, and it's it's only gotten worse. It is. So. We'll see how they plan out the next fight, because I think they've got about one more shot to really full send it. I mean, Mickey has no flash. Maybe they can take advantage of that. See the red-white there for uh, Hans Sama. He's going to, I expect, drop the white and go to blue, and then play red-blue, and then swap over to purple after <sighs> copping red, Oof. and then play blue-purple for the next fight. We'll see. Dang. Something along those lines. This is so wholesome. It's my one you trick know? now. No, it's it, cool. I started playing it, now it's getting nerfed. Like, what? Yeah. Also, it has a horrible solo queue win rate, so weird time to, <laughs> to pick it up. It's terrible in solo queue. I think everyone's just kind of dizzy when it comes to the guns. But here's the Baron contest. G2 will destroy Baron. They yes. will get it down really quickly. But Hans is looking at that top tier one. You can see they're not stopping the pressure just yet. There's the red, blue. Oh, Kaiser. Engage on a Mickey. Pull back on a Mickey is big. A kill to potentially start. Oh, but he's no. just away. He's ticking. Finally, they find the kill. Onto that pesky Yordle. Yeah. Bottom Mickey, no side flash. Of the Kaiser's going in. Kaiser now looking for the fall off. The decimating smash is on the way. Hot Samo with a big ultimate. Oh. Doesn't connect. 
So close, wasn't it? That ultimate that would have destroyed Vitality. Votons TP'd in, but I think the fight might be over. Caps no flash, maybe he's looking for more. Broken Blade's flash just came up. They need to kill the bird. Caps is a very big boy. Yike on the backside. Hansama grouping with the rest Whoa, of boo. the team. Bo, now That's knocking deep, him though. back out of the wall, trying to follow the knockback of the rest of the team. Caps, upset eyes on the prize. Caps goes golden lead by his brief moment. Upset, can he finish the job? He takes down Hansama, but Caps still stands. Big Bird is alive and well, baby. Sesame Street. The engage was so good by Bo, and it was so close to getting Caps down, but he lives. He has the Zonia's upset, does a hero play with the E flash, takes down Hans, but there's just no damage on the follow up, no Rakanult. The Krag Assault was used too, but that's it, I think. G2 get the Baron, and I think that's just yeah. something you can never really come back from. I mean, Bo. look at the start here, though. Boom, the combo. Yeah. And knocked look at Photon, too. Photon, full commit right before the Decimating Smash comes in. Nice. Broken Blade there. almost knocks up three people. Look at Upset here as well. E Flash. But then the stopwatch comes in. Perk's already dead. Kaiser's dead. Photon's got no cooldowns. And Caps is. He just dashes back in. Caps doesn't care. <laughs> Man doesn't care, dude. He doesn't care. And Perks. 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 Okay, you take away the blue buff. Certainly helps. This is what's frustrating about Vitality Candle is on paper, they're so good. And in those moments, those clutch moments, when it all comes together and everyone's coordinated, they look good. If they weren't disgustingly far behind in that fight, I think they could've won it 100%. But it was already a desperation gambit. And it's just like, Draco's why can't we see this consistently Draco's where people are pushing their buttons on the same target at Draco's the same time? If, if, if my Nexus stopped dying, <laughs> I'd be rank one. <laughs> Like, <laughs> what, what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> okay. They need to, All right. They need to pull it together, you. really. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, if you're yeah, down yeah, 10k yeah. and you're fighting well, then yeah. you down 10k. Yeah. If your dad had wheels, he'd be a bicycle. <laughs> exactly. I, I know what you're saying. <laughs> so here comes the siege from G2. I mean, Vitality are going to try a bit of macro and get a top tier 2 for an objective bounty, but they don't even have a wave, so they're just going to have to recall. This is a massive deficit. It's nigh impossible now for Vitality to come back short of G2. Uh, really making big mistakes. They have a perfect comp to Siege. Vitality have okay wave clear. Uh, Zaya and Orianna are pretty solid. Alongside the Gragas. Ouch. Kaiser already taking a chunk. Okay. Nice knock. Troll Judge. Troll Jury. Troll Jury. Is he, is he going to be the execute troll? That is the question. <laughs> Keeping us awake at night as G2 pushing into the base. I think Cap's gonna go for a little shuffle, but there's a Poppy W. Need to be a bit careful, Cap. Oh my god, Kaiser's just getting destroyed by the green white. You know what's coming after? It's gonna be the red. Ooh. Yeah, big here damage. Here comes red white. Maya Filios has been. Damn, marked, called out. And after this, our synergy. Drop white. This is the thing is, our Ophelios casting synergy. Yeah, he's, now he's gonna drop the roof. He's gonna drop and white. He's gonna disappear from the meta forever. Drop white, he's gonna pick, get blue. Ooh. The, the, the gun combos are. In, I, you know, it's. It, to get to sleep at night, I just chant the gun combos to myself. Yeah, I like that. To be honest, other than purple, red is my least favorite gun. I know that's Red crazy. is your least favorite gun? I don't, you don't like, like just pressing Q and then just playing like dodgeball? It. It's it's like, okay. You literally just... I'm a, I'm a green, green, white guy to the end. You know? Green, white? I'm a purple, blue guy. I just like to see the big bombers. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. See if Hansama can land one, because of course, once he gets the blue, he's going to drop red and, and get white and get purple. And credit upset. Only 200 gold behind Hansama in a game with this much kind of global gold going on inside of G2. It's, it's pretty impressive, but again, Baron buff is fading, but the Ocean Soul, it lasts forever. So how does Vitality find enough burst damage to kill a Trundle and a Scion? They a Trundle don't. with an Anathema's Chains, who can probably, I assume has put it onto Upset, but not 100% sure. Yeah, there's tanky boys, isn't there? How much Scion, how much HP does that Scion have, I wonder? Maybe five Bonus K? nine, four five, K. six, four K. Yeah, he's a tanky boy. 219 armor, 170 magic resist. I think it's just going to be a straight siege down mid, isn't it? They can start to force on this wave. Their Baron buffs off, so the wave clear might be all right. But OK, we're TP flanking. Behind. Vitality is coming behind, G2. The, the flank is perfectly warded. Vitality, how do you pull this off? The ball is on caps. He does not worry about it. Photon on the backside. They know he's coming. Oh, red, purple. Oh. Terrible guns. Terrible guns. He needs to For drop like that red. He needs to just press Q and drop that red whenever he's got it up. This is an Aphelios cast now. We talk about one yeah. champion. Where, when's he going to press? He's going to get the key. He's going to get Q off now. He's, he's going to drop push that red. Q, swap red. He's waiting. Yeah, now he's going to get blue. Now he's going to get blue. Now he's going to get blue. Boom. Now here comes the big damage. Big ult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will he find it? G2 pushing into the enemy base. Vitality. 
It will take a miracle for them to oh, come back into this one. Ooh, time. bit of a fumble. As Caps is quick to react, the Bomba not going to be there for Han Sama, but he does get a bit of poke down on the perks as he now resets. Waves But the ball special! Oh, he's only going to hit He missed one. it! He missed it! It does not matter. That's not the boss. But he gets the job done anyway. Broken Blade breaking into the base alongside the rest of G2. Caps going to be interrupted on the push forward. It does not matter! G2 are too big. They are too strong. They are too far ahead. It is an effortless list close as they take their time in the enemy base. They're setting up curtains. They're hanging new drapes. They're renting it out to new tenants. Their vitality's time here is done. They're making a killing. Their landlord status highly immoral. It's not stopping them. What a great game from G2. I mean, Vitality had a couple windows here and there, but that was about it. G2 just slammed the door shut. No real mistakes. Matched every midway, basically fought on the objectives, even though they had more scaling. And in theory, a weaker-ish mid-game, they had such a gold lead going into it, so... Yeah, I think Cap's main man in that game, just shutting down perks. Yeah, and uh, credit to G2. Some of the coordinated plays around the mid lane with the Trundle Pillar. Really love the Trundle Pillar in Decimating Smash. Sick coordination from the team. Frustrating, frustrating game for Vitality. A lot of people making out of a lot of different fights with blinking health bars. Didn't quite have the damage, didn't quite have the coordination. And it's, uh, it's tricky now. You know, again, they're in a decent spot in terms of championship points, but you want to see more from their overall performance. Yeah, definitely want to see more. So uh, they've got two more days, of course, two more games worth to get through. Oh, all right, all right, come on, Mickey. All right, you get one. It was good. You pushed wild growth real good. Yeah, that was good. Mickey's ult in River was great. Uh, yeah, so yeah, G2, everything's coming together and as, as we expected. I think our eyes weren't really on G2 this game. It was more so on Vitality. You know, what yeah. can you bring into this fresh new week? Can everything on paper start to click? But it doesn't look like everything's there just yet. The Oriana was really shut down. And uh, the Poppy first pick didn't really net them the value I think they were looking for. I think G2's response was really good though. They, I don't think they even flinched. Poppy first pick? Okay, well, we'll just play Trundle. It's not something that's very common, but of course it's a good matchup, right? And they'll flex yep. this Trundle into the Poppy wherever it goes. Player of the game at LEC on Twitter, Broken Blade, Yike, or Caps. Uh, an impressive game from G2 again. And we'll just see if, if Vitality can bring it back together. This is yep. a team that I think, again, the theoretical ceiling of this team is very high, but they have shown time and time again that they haven't really been able to reach that ceiling. We'll hope that they can, that they can show us more in the games to come. But today's day, or today's G2's day, most certainly. Definitely Like is. a very, very strong team. And we'll see how the split progresses, because I feel like we're seeing a different version of G2, perhaps. I'm not seeing as much cooking. You know, in, in winter and spring, they were really like, there was the picks Nico. coming out that were really crazy. Caps the watched Nico? his top laner die so he could pretend to be a red ward. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not so much picks, I'm just, but I'm in just terms saying of like, gameplay, yeah, you're right. You know right. what? They didn't pick Literally me. watched his top laner yeah, die they, in front of his eyes. <laughs> the game within his grasp so he it's could pretend because, you know, to be a pink ward. It was a good a sacrifice because he saw the clutch in his eyes. He yeah. was like the montages. All right. The well, that's enough face. from us. Let's hear from the troll. Judge, Troll, King, Execute, Troll, troll himself. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Yike, the King Troll himself. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. How do you feel about a 6-0-9 giga performance? <laughs> it feels good, I don't know. I didn't expect me to... I didn't expect to play this good with Trundle, but I'm happy. Like, it's not my type of champ, you know. I usually play the carry champs, mm -hmm. but Trundle, um, more of a like, supportive champ with pillars and all. But I feel like I played fine, and uh, yeah, it's nice. All right, since we mentioned the Trundle, that it was an unexpected pick, basically, can we bring up picks and bans? Because I feel like something, I don't know if it was unexpected for you two guys, but Poppy B1, did you expect that one? No, we expected Poppy to maybe be picked 2-3, but not first picked. So it was a bit uh, weird for us, but uh, we just decided to go through on the Linsta. So, yeah, that was funny. Were you willing to flex that if Poppy went top? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Well, you were pretty well in the jungle yeah. as well. Now, we have a fight where you guys lose Mickey, and it's a 4v5 scenario. And we have the fight with comms, actually, as well, to see what happened behind the scenes on this 20-minute fight. Were you guys turning around? Okay, we're gonna watch it. Yes. Right, we saw Sire okay. already. Uh, guys, I'm only right here. Then I'm gonna Sire, they're, going, they're all going. Okay. They're here. Oh, they're looking, they're looking. Yeah? They use Oriol oh, yeah, already. I'm, I'm, not I'm, not there, I'm, not there, I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm not there. I think, I'm, I think okay. I'm looking, guys. Look, look, look. Okay. Okay. Probably no flash, by the way. Let okay. them walk up, maybe. They're going. I'll stop watch. I'm ulting. Uh, yeah, big ult, big ult. Oh my god. Oh, guys, just slowly. No, 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 slowly, slowly. Get out now. Get out, get out. They use TP. He's looking for TP. I'm Yeah, I can look. He wants to ult me. 
Uh, what's your Azir? Azir. On, only poke uh, defend Azir. Uh, uh, we, yeah. we can we can win don't know slowly. Okay. I'm grouping up. I'm grouping. Only make it awkward for them. Yeah. Like make it awkward. Splash. You want splash me? They can't oh, splash. They can't oh, splash. Oh, look, look, look. Huge, huge, huge. We win this. <laughs> Man, I'm huge. Good job, baby. Keep That's going. crazy. I'm the boss. You're actually the boss. Oh my god. Pesta, 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 pesta. No, no, guys. Go Nash. Go Nash, yeah. It was like you saying, man, I'm huge. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, <laughs> ma Maybe it was me. It might have been BB2. But uh, I was kind of huge at the game. I actually called for a pentakill, but pentakill thunder would be really insane. But it didn't happen. Sad. Hey, triple kill is still pretty triple good, man. Thunder. Yeah, absolutely. Now, before we started this clip, you mentioned how you're not really used to playing the facilitating champions, but sometimes we have to. I wanted to ask you, there have been champions like Rek'Sai, Nocturne, your infamous Belveth popping up here and there. What is your thought on these champions in the current meta? <clears throat> I think Nocturne is a strong champion. I mm -hmm. picked him the day two, but we should have won that game as well, but we kind of messed up. And uh, also Rek'Sai, I think is a very strong champ. Also top lane, I've seen a lot of top lane Rek'Sai's, but uh, maybe there's going to be a Rek'Sai one day coming. Right now, yeah, we haven't seen any Rek'Sai's I think in LSE, but hopefully it's going to come sooner. Oh, we can't wait. Uh, we can't wait, Yike. We know that you're really good at your carry champions. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to also playing the facilitators, what would you say is your role now in G2? Because you pretty much do everything. Yeah, I mean, uh, winter split, I was the carry. Spring split, I was a bit of both. And uh, now I'm mostly playing the facilitators, the supportive champs, and I help my team. And I think it's really fun because I like to adapt. And uh, now I'm playing a different style and it works out, I think. So... It feels good to be able to play all the different styles. Absolutely. You were a rookie back then, 6 or 9 now. Trundle, don't play this, but I will play it and I will stomp them. Congratulations, Yaik, you. on your victory. Fantastic performance on the Trundle. We're going to toss it over to the desk where I think you guys have caps over there? We do. Thank you very much, guys. We were hoping, though, in that matchup for a banger. Unfortunately, we got a blowout, although very fortunate for you, Caps. Massive <laughs> smile on your face right now. It seems like you enjoyed that game. Yeah, it was definitely an enjoyable game. Uh, always always fun to play against Perks. Uh, always fun to, well, win against them, at least. <laughs> I don't know how much fun it is to lose. Uh, but uh, especially the way it went, just perma-shuffling him <laughs> uh, was, was quite fun. Well, we'll talk about the perma-shuffling in a moment, but I want to bring up the draft first. It was just touched on in that interview by George and you're like the poppy pick first prio I i'd love to know your personal impressions on that uh yeah we were definitely like caught off guard by it but i think at the same time uh, i mean it makes some sense because uh it's like a champion that is seeing like a lot of success right now and especially if they want like the recon and stuff maybe they don't want us to to pick the puppy away the phrase we used in the green room when we looked at the draft though was g2 is scaling what is Vitality doing? <laughs> like, I, I couldn't make heads or tails of this draft. W what was the conversation like between the team when you saw the final picks locked in? Uh, I mean, we were definitely caught off guard a bit by like what they were going for. Uh, and I felt quite confident in like what we had uh, going up against it. I think maybe they didn't expect us to go the way we went for a draft. We kind of went like a bit different than usually. Uh, a lot more like <laughs> scaling, a lot more like team fight, uh, two tanks and a mage and the uh, Aphelios, hyper carry. Used to be played a lot of like, really aggressive drafts. So maybe, um, like maybe usually when we have played like these aggressive drafts with like all these jumps and stuff like that, probably can shut it down. But when we just go full late game, then she doesn't have too much of a job. You know, this time they banned away your Nico. But I'm wondering, did you have more fun playing Nico last week or Sia this game? <laughs> um, I think I would say Nico until like the late game. <laughs> I think when the late game, I was like, oh no, that, this is not going too well. But I think the old flash uh, with as a minion, that is a lot of fun. And I've discovered a lot of new Nico things. So I'm really okay. hoping that uh, people let it over. Exciting. <laughs> I wish we'd prepared a, a Nico montage reel for this conversation. But alas, we should talk more about this particular game because as you mentioned, Perks was getting perma shuffled. Uh, but the post game breakdown, I mean, your Azir was absolutely on fire. Did you take a, a leaf out of Mad Lion's books in terms of that draft, becoming a little bit more conservative with it? <laughs> I mean, I definitely think uh, we, we, it was actually like, I mean, I guess I kind of don't know what I was going to say, but basically we, we decided to go for, for yeah, a bit of a slower draft. I think the, the draft we had up against theirs was like very favored, right? Uh, so at the end of the day, we just, we just want to win. But usually we just, 
like to do it with like some style. <laughs> Maybe there was not as much style in the draft this time around, but uh, we have a few surprises. You right didn't here. just want to win, though. You wanted to kill Perks. Let's, <laughs> let's be very clear about that. I mean, that was definitely the plan when we came in-game. Uh, BB was always like, oh, I can ult him. I was like, I'll ult him in as well. Uh, we had some pillars ready for him, so <laughs> we were coming for him. <laughs> you were coming for him really hard. <laughs> and this one was personal. This one was like, I had to just had to flash for him. He was already like 0 4 at this point, so I don't know how worth it is to straight from flash for him, but <laughs> I just had to do it. That mental advantage secured. Was yeah. that an awkward handshake after the game? Uh, I mean, kind of, but at the same time, I think we both like won against each other a lot of times at this point. So it's like, I think we both know it's, it's like kind of life, right? Of course, I'm like super happy now. He's super sad, but uh, maybe next time it'll be the opposite. So. Do you think that there are certain mid laners in the LEC right now who particularly motivate you and your performance, Perks being one of them? Are there um, others? I think, uh, I mean, I think, I think maybe more teams than, than mid laners. Like, for example, I think Fnatic is really fun to play. I mean, Fnatic is always fun to play against because they're, they're the Fnatic, right? So it's fun to play against them. But I think particularly the split, it's a lot of fun to play against them because they're they, everyone is saying they're like insane scrims. So, so, so then it's like, it, it, it just feels, yeah, it feels better to play against them or like more motivating uh, compared to maybe some of the last splits where a lot of things were like, going wrong for them. Do you think they're insane in scrims? Uh, we didn't actually scrim them that much. Oh, we had okay. one day. I, I think they were all right. Uh, I was expecting more. Uh, just from the rumors, but <laughs> okay, uh, okay, yeah, I can I, respect uh, the answer. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think I think they were doing pretty good. Well, Probably feeling, one of the better teams. I'm feeling bloodthirsty. I want to check out that Herald fight as well. Uh, that's when Han Summer got the first blood, I believe. It's actually quite a quite a chain game, almost the first nine minutes. So the fact that it became so bloodthirsty later was very pleasing to my eyes. Talk us through this moment. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we had the Cyan moving, so we actually like they managed to get an engage on us a bit before Cyan came. Uh, I didn't actually catch the beginning, but I think maybe Cyan was TP behind us, some uh, Gregor's TP behind us, or something. Caught us like off guard, but uh, basically they ca caught us off guard before the, we wanted to, to take the fight. But then they also just like used everything on Hans' hands, right? And that's kind of like the, the start of a lot of games. They just everyone throws everything on Hans, and then we can just like win the, the team fight quite easily afterwards. Yeah, Katz, let's take a look at your stats as well. I wanted to ask you about this split so far. What was your personal goal coming into summer? Because I know that. MSI, perhaps you were not the most happy with your performance, and I think that could be said for other members of G2 as well. And then we got to see you having so much fun last week with that Nico, even though that match didn't go your way. So I'm just wondering, uh, what are the things that you're focusing on at the moment? Um, I think uh, I think coming into the, the, the start of the year, um, we were like just kind of destroying everyone. I'm thinking like especially winter split, like the off-season scrims and stuff like that. We were just winning really hard every game. And we were playing like very hard through bot especially, right? Uh, and uh, Hans and Mickey were just destroying everyone. Uh, so it felt very easy to play. But I think uh, we were like, and it kind of naturally became like very tunnel vision on like making sure we get bot ahead. And I think I wasn't like, I wasn't asking for enough to, to, for my for myself uh, because we were winning, right? And I, I don't really mind winning whichever way it is. But I think once we start losing spring, once we lose MSI, it's pretty obvious that we have a lot of things we need to improve on. And also, I need to actually be like a much more active player and like do my part on the team. Uh, so I am, yeah, trying to do more of my part and letting uh, and letting like yeah, and not just like getting carried every game. <laughs> When you came back from MSI and started screaming, what was like the one biggest thing that you wanted to improve on as a team? Like, what what did you guys think was the biggest problem at MSI? If you had to pick one, uh, I mean, I think actually we improved. Like, I think the biggest gap I think was for us at MSI was for sure like the some mid game macro. Like, I think LPL SK teams were very far ahead of us, but we were catching up quite quite a bit at MSI. But we didn't manage to like optimize all the strategies. I think when we came to the series against BLG, I'm thinking of especially like I saw one of the things we like were forgetting or we were like not doing that well in the series. So we just want to make sure that we can do them on the like on the like while we're stressed and while we're and doing it as good as possible. So I think definitely a lot of takeaways, and I think we already improved a lot of them, but can definitely still get better. Well, takeaways from this game are on the wall behind us. Eight two six, fantastic performance from you, Caps. Love and the just face, by the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Broxa, can you do the face? Because Reckless did a great impression of this face last uh, week. I can't All right, no I'm going to do the face while I throw to the break. So, for a whole day, all day, we have the only undefeated team in Mad Lions. This is not working. Facing Astralis, don't go anywhere. It's Mad Lions. Can't wait to see it. My face is a picture right now. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to interrupt, trying to stop decimating Smash. Oh, the pillar is back! Oh, Knocked up! Hand delivered! Oh, very
strong is he? Or just vision for the 1v1, the push back. He does so much damage with the shoulders. The flash out for perks. The flash follow. Oh, caps one seat. Slowed. Following up with the shoulders. He's gonna get it. Oh, it feels personal. See perks looking for caps. Back. Caps with the pushback. Not quite under tower. Yes, he is under tower. Getting locked up, but it's just stems there. Hitting them. Look at him go. What the hell, caps? Did they bring here? Guys, be ready. Be ready. I move. I move. Guys, guys, I want to move here. I'm holding. I'm holding. I'm holding. I want to pump it. I want to pump it. I want to try it. Nice I'm holding, uh, my ult is huge here, my ult is huge. Look yeah. at me. I think you win, I think you win. Happy, happy, happy. Poppy nothing, poppy nothing. Kill Poppy. Slow. Nice. nice.